Hello, friends! There are situations when the car battery is dead, but special charger is absent, and it is impossible to charge the car from another. Let's look what you can use in this case. Attention! All that will be discussed in this video is not recommended to repeat as there is a risk of electric shock, acid burns, harm to yourself and others. The author is not responsible for your wrong actions. The first method. If you have a laptop, then there is an adapter for it. Its output usually 18 or 19 volt. Also, you must find 12 volt lamp with a power from 5 to 50 watt. The greater the power of the lamp, the higher charging current. But not recommended to raise the current above 3.5 or 4 amperes. Otherwise, it may overload the adapter and damage it. Assemble this scheme. Connected in series, a lamp simply limits the charging current. I just hooked up the multimeter to display the value of the current. The second method. Take the bulb of 220 volt and, cap and capacity of 40 100 watt, which, as in the first method, the current limiter. Connect the bulb and diode in series and connect to AC network. At the beginning of the charging, lamp nearly doesn't burn. If the charge doesn't go, it lights up brightly. You can use any rectifier diode with a current of 3 ampere, although the less current will flow in the circuit. But it is better to have a reserve. Diode voltage not less than 400 volt. For example, IN5408 or Russian D243B. Attention! It is dangerous to touch the elements of the circuit when it is turned on. As I say before, the lamp works as a current limiter, and diode cuts the bottom half of sinusoidal wave. This half-wave rectifier's output is about 110 volt. A battery played the role of a stabilizing element. The third method. This looks like the previous method. Only the diode is replaced by a bridge. Here we get a full wave rectifier. Suitable bridge can be removed from the unnecessary desktop computer power supply. Attention, it is dangerous to electric shock. The fourth method. This scheme is similar to the two previous ones. But instead of light bulbs, you must use non-polar firm capacitor with a voltage of at least 400 volt. The charging current depends on its capacity. The average is 70 to 100 milliamperes per 1 microfarad. If a capacitor with a large capacity is absent, they can be connected in a parallel, but always with the same voltage. The fifth method. Use the computer power supply unit, any power and size. As is known, unit gives a number of different voltages. We must use the 12 volt bus. That's yellow wires is plus and negative black. But 12 volt isn't enough to charge a car battery. How to improve the power supply voltage without its reconstructions? First, we should sort the green and black wires. This allows running the power supply without connecting to a computer. The unit has a feedback and PWM stabilization. If loading one of the low voltage bus, for example 5 volt, we get on a drawdown. Pulse width modulator automatically tries to raise the voltage to 5 volt. Simultaneously, the voltage rises on the rest of the bus. The more low voltage bus loaded, the higher the voltage rises on 12 volt bus. But don't abuse, otherwise the unit will go to the fence. If it anyway does happen, you can return to its original state by removing for a couple of seconds the jumper between the green and black wires. As a load of low voltage bus, you can use 20 to 50 watt halogen bulbs. So that's all. Attention, I must remind that all schemes except the first and last are not isolated galvanically from the main voltage. You can touch the circuit only if it is disconnected from the network. First, make sure that there is no short circuit anywhere. Then connect the terminals to the battery. And only then switch the circuit to the network. Do not use these techniques regularly, because it will reduce battery life. Thanks for watching. With you was Akakasyan. Wish you good day.